you know, you'll sit up here and people will say, well, they need to have self-control. That they do, but at the same time, y'all are showing your booty meat to these young men at school. However, I do think that young men, women in middle school and high school, why do you need all of that? Why do y'all need lace fronts? Why do y'all need lashes? I'm just generally asking, like at that age, you're really at a more healthier state. You 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 haven't been on the in on the planet that long to be toe up like that. Since so, I was kindergarten, I remember this little boy named Floyd. I'm calling his name. Okay, that's how much I was five years old. Floyd was trying to push up on your girl when I was in kindergarten. I mean, this brother's been relentless. My, point, my face is so shiny, but here's the thing. I just got out of the shower. The shea butter all over my body is probably dangerous to be sitting out here on my porch. But, you know, that's what I like to do at night. I haven't been on here for a while, so what's going on, y'all? We got some things to talk about. I just want to start off by saying... <sighs> If you are very sensitive, no problem. If things really get under your skin easily, this is not the channel for you. I really suggest that you keep on scrolling. You know what I mean? But we're going to get in some stuff. If you're cool with it, if you're not sensitive, let's talk about it, okay? Let's talk about it. I'm not being malicious of me when I say any of this stuff. I'm just being direct. Now, I do want to make it clear that I do substitute. Mm hmm and one thing I notice is that young ladies, they are too focused on getting attention, okay? I don't know if it's sexy red that came out, but I'm going to say that I don't think it's appropriate. Please don't get offended as a mother. I don't think it's appropriate. I know sexy red says bow, 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 bow. That's that booty meat. That don't mean that these young ladies should consider themselves like a sexy red. Please, dress, just be a kid. You got the rest of your life to be grown. You got the rest of your life to wear what you want to wear and do what you want to do. But you at that school, you know, and I get it. It's a lot of bullshit and shams, but you at that school, go ahead and get your education. Because I'm going to tell you something. You got to take your you get in and feed your mind with something. It's not even about the propaganda. Just in general, stretch your mind. You know what I'm saying? You can begin to think for yourself. It's not a crime. I know some people don't, but it's okay to do some critical thinking. And I think that's a lost art. It's okay. And it don't take booty meat to do it. Like, I don't understand why. I don't. Okay. As a parent to other parents, I don't understand why. And of course, we're entitled to raise our children how we want to. Right. We're entitled to make certain decisions but as we all have different opinions and outlooks on life my question would be why do your children even have these type of outfits in their wardrobe as young as they are they are i mean why don't kids want to be kids it's okay you got the rest of your life to grow up like you're gonna get to a point where you're gonna wish the years will stop right breaking up okay like this is my life is not a you Gotti song. Like, I, I don't need my, you know, every time you come another age, I'm getting older and older. So it's like, young ladies really need to value, get to know who you are, what you like, put some things in your head, learn to think critical, and then worry about, don't, first of all, you should never worry about men. If you're doing what you're supposed to do, just like they tell men, right? They tell them, focus on getting your money and get your stuff to yourself together and the women will come. It's the same thing for women. Focus on getting yourself together mentally, physically, spiritually. But have a self-love and self-knowing, a self-awareness about yourself before you try to call in somebody. Y'all, the kids. And I understand that, you know, when you're younger, you have hormones and stuff like that. And the body be talking and the body be talking loud. But here's the thing, though. Y'all can cover up for real. Y'all can cover up. As a woman, these young men don't need the distraction. They need to learn, too. But, you know, you'll sit up here and people will say, well, 
they need to have self-control that they do but at the same time y'all are showing your booty meat to these young men at school and what's up with the young ladies with the lace fronts and the lashes and they're thick you can damn near see i mean are you wearing them because there is no umbrella or you thought it was gonna rain i don't know why why is it and I'm speaking again. I'm not speaking about grown women. Whatever the fuck y'all want to do. You know, you can go around with butterfly wings on your lids for all I care. It's not my business. I don't care. I ain't wearing shit, but I ain't trying to impede on you. However, I do think that young women in middle school and high school, why do you need all of that? Why do y'all need lace fronts? Why do y'all need lashes? I'm just generally asking, like, at that age, you're really at a more healthier state. You 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 haven't been on the in on the planet that long to be toe up like that. So when you haven't been that long on the planet to be toe up, you should have. And there is exception to all rules, right? I'm not talking about the young ladies that have alopecia or something going on, some extenuating circumstance. But a lot of y'all got your own hair. It's nothing wrong with you. So there's no reason at middle school and high school you got to throw these motherfucking wigs on your head. I don't understand it. And, and then the swoops, they're, they're, they're not baby hairs. They're swoops. Stop it. Stop it. I, I don't understand it. Young women are out here in middle school and high school dressing like they are in their late 20s, early 30s. And I'm just saying, like, you can be cute and be appropriate for learning. Because you, you're not trying to learn dress like that. I, I don't know what you're trying to get, some attention, what you're trying to get, but you're not trying to learn. When you're dressed like, I, and I, and it's crazy because when I was in high school, middle school, whatever, if we wore some, we couldn't even wear like a tank top to school. If we wore a tank top to school, they was going to chase us um, down the hall. And we was going to have to change. Mackenzie say, I dislike makeup because I literally can't afford it. And it makes me look like crap when everyone else looks so much better in makeup. It's like raising the bar for no reason. I feel you. I don't wear fucking makeup because it's an unnecessary purchase. I don't need it. I don't know what's in that shit. I don't want it clogging up my pores and skins. It's enough stuff that we intake that's putting poison on us that, I mean, we do by default because there are in a lot of ways necessities, but I don't need no fucking makeup. So therefore, I'm not going to pollute my body with some shit I don't even need. Now, I do wear mascara. I wear it. I have it on now. But no. So I agree with you, Mackenzie. I see your point. I just had to add mine. I, I don't know what's going on with the young ladies in in middle school and high school. I don't. I don't. I understand again that they're starting to like feel themselves or find themselves or whatever, but it's no need to be so grown acting and dressing and presenting. You're just a preteen and you're just a teenager. It's not necessary. You, these young men, they're going to like you anyway. They, they going to like what's in proximity to them anyway. So if y'all all put some clothes on and cover your ass up, they still going to want you because you're there shit you know what i'm saying like of course people gonna have a preferences that's life but there is no lack in attraction and that's the problem that's why people do so much stupid ass shit is because they have a lack mentality they're always afraid if i don't do this then men won't like me if i don't do this then women won't like me if i don't do this then the world will think i'm crazy if i don't do this you know we always have that fear in our mindset as why we do things but there's no reason, I'm saying, there is no reason for these young ladies to be dressing the way that they do at their age. Because we couldn't get away with wearing tank tops. We couldn't get away with wearing tank tops. Our teacher, I remember, I'm going to tell you something. I got story time. My cousin, she had this half shirt on um, where the shoulder was out. But it was like, you know, it was a half shirt type of hookup. And so she wanted me to wear one too, right? And so I think I put one on. I, I was like, I don't really want to wear this shit, but okay, I'll wear it, whatever. Because I really was, I, I had the whole Aaliyah look back in the day. Like not from, not with the hair, but the dress style. Like I used to like the dress like that. It was comfortable for me. So at that time, I mean, I of course, around 17, I kind of got my belly pierced and then I kind of blossomed. I'm like, hey, I'm here. 
But before that, no, I was dressing like a little boy. I was trying to find somebody's semblance to wear. You feel me? So I wouldn't stun that. So anyway, we put the shirt on. Okay. Our gym teacher, our gym teacher, I'm not talking about math, science, art, acting, teaching. None. Our gym teacher was like, what do y'all have on? Now, mind you, again, it was just a half shirt. And she chased my cousin is ignorant well she was at the time she took off running in the shirt i did and i wasn't about to run it wasn't that serious what's up i mean you caught me <laughs> i'm in my shirt so either i'm gonna keep wearing i'm gonna take it off whatever but yeah they wasn't playing with us and so when i see when i go in these schools and i'm substituting and i see the, the stuff that these young women wear and i'm trying to figure out how the hell did they get past so many adults and shit, I'm just here to substitute. So I'm not about to cause no smoke with no kids like that. You know, now if you get blatantly ignorant and out of control, I'm going to have to address the situation. But I'm not coming in nitpicking as a substitute. I'm there to spread my light and my love, you know what I'm saying, and my motherfucking business at the same time. Okay. I'm, I'm not doing all of that. I'm not, because at the end of the day, if it got past your mama and it got past the regular staff, what the, who the fuck am I? I'm just a substitute. I'm not coming to talk about why is your rear end hanging out of these shorts? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Why is it that all y'all want to do is wear leggings? Why y'all got this motherfucking swoops with these lace fronts that's lifting? Why y'all got these thick ass eyelashes? What are we doing it for? We didn't do that. We had a couple of girls in high school. I remember. I don't remember their names, but I remember them. And then I have no shade, nothing shady to say about them. They dressed up, you know, they wore, they even wore heels. Now I could, I'm not a good, I'm not good in heels to this day. So I couldn't wrap my head around why anybody in this big ass high school would want to wear high heels. I just wasn't that dedicated. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't that dedicated to uh, presenting the type of way to be seen. I'm, I'm at school. I'm here to learn a little bit and have a good time. And that's what the fuck I did, you know, but I, they were impressive to me because they were very committed to it. They wore their high heels and they dressed very nicely. And like I said, there's no shade. I just didn't understand. I didn't understand. You know, that's a lot. That was a lot for me, but it's definitely not no shade to them. But those were the minority. Now you got young ladies that just, they think that what it is, what should be done is to do all of this extra stuff, showing their bodies and wearing all this weave and all this other stuff. And it's, it's so unnecessary. It's so unnecessary. I want to know what y'all think. I, I really want to know what y'all think. I know I'm, I could not just be talking to myself. Well, maybe I am. But... I want to know, do you guys really feel it's necessary for young women in middle school and high school to be walking around with, as Sexy Red would say, booty meat hanging out of their shorts, okay, and all this other stuff they got going, it's very disturbing to me, I don't know, and, but like I said, I just be a substitute, so I'm not going to pull nobody aside and jump into all of that you know because again if it went past your parents it went past the regular staff i'm just here for a little bit of time like i said shine my light make my money keep everybody from burning themselves assist a little bit but mind my business overall and go home you know now y'all get out y'all get crazy i i, I show up <laughs> i do what i need to do but no i ain't about to go in there with all that smoke Coming there with chimney smoke, just choking everybody up. I'm not about to do all that. Mm -mm. I'm not about to do all that. But but we got to do better. We got to say something. I, now, I'm telling you, I was tempted. I was telling my husband. I said, you know, I kind of think I want to go to the principal. I, I don't know how you do this shit. So, you know, I'm really straightforward. Go up to the principal like, hey, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of rear ends. I'm seeing a lot of stuff going on i don't understand is there some kind of mentorship we can get for the young ladies to teach them self-love self-worth to teach them to stop rushing you know life is gonna rush the from the moment i 
I ain't even gonna throw no ages out there because somebody watch that age be mad as hell. Like, what you trying to say? What you trying to say? I don't even want to get into all that. But at a certain point, you will reach a certain age that after you reach that age, like it, time be flying. You will be like, fuck, slow down. I mean, shit. What you trying? You trying to get me to A into my 80s real quick, ain't you? You know what I'm saying? It get like that. They don't have to do all that. They had a good time right now in their lives. What are they doing? Why do these young women want to do this? And then the boys are so ridiculous at their age anyway. What the fuck do a boy know? Like, I'm, I'm just saying, in middle school and high school, what the fuck do these boys know? They don't know a damn thing. Why do y'all even care? I, I, mean, I understand attraction. I understand hormones. I get it. But I, I just, I was never that pressed. I never was. I never was that pressed about. I re I remember being in middle school, and I I'm not even being funny. Like I'm not being funny, and this is no knock against the dudes. I'm not saying this to be shady to the dudes. I'm just saying in general, this is how I felt. I was in middle school. And it got to the boys were so annoying to me, like trying to the, always be in a relationship with me and shit like that. It was always, it was just always something with some boys, you know. Since I was kindergarten, I remember this little boy named Floyd. I'm calling his name, okay? That's how much I was five years old. Floyd was trying to push up on your girl when I was in kindergarten. I mean, this brother's been relentless. So I... <laughs> I don't understand why these young ladies be feeling like they got to do all this because I'm telling you, boys will be relentless, especially at that age. Their hormones is everywhere. You could wear a potato sack. They don't give a fuck. Why do y'all do all the shit that y'all do? It's unnecessary. <laughs> but you know, you got to live a little longer to figure this out. And that's the thing. I'm older saying this shit. I'm like, what? Because we didn't know shit at that age. But anyway, me, I wasn't caring about it. I... I these boys been around, like I said, since kindergarten. And so in mid, by the time I hit middle school, I, I had to, at this point, I started going with dudes. And going with dudes wasn't shit. It wasn't like we was doing nothing. We didn't hold hands. We didn't kiss. We didn't do nothing. We just claimed one another. So I would go with a boy for two weeks and dump him just so he could say, you know, we, he can leave me alone. You know, I gave you your time. You can never say I ain't give you no time, player. You got two weeks in my life. You was two weeks to be able to say... You know, I'm with her. And every once in a while, we might meet up and look at one another. So, I understand that. I don't understand. And, and that's, so what I'm saying is, we need a group that can, I can share my stories with young ladies, right? Not just tell them why it is that they should be more concentrating on putting something in this head and nurturing their spirit in it and you know their mind soul and body but actually give them real tangible stories so they can see why I'm saying the things that I am you know what I'm saying and not just me but some other women that can speak to this can speak to these type of things because I feel like the girls need it man I feel like they need it they need somebody to tell them like Hey, you ain't got to do all that. Today, I told my daughter today, I said, hey, don't worry about it. You're not about to get no 20-inch bust down. Don't ever ask me. I'm, it's, it's never happening. In high school, she in middle school, she, she'll be in high school next year. I said, it's not going to happen. You won't have a bust down. You will not have lashes. You will not be wearing a bunch of makeup. It's not going to happen. I said, and you will not have your rear end hanging out of nothing. You're going to cover up and you're going to go to school. And you know what? You're damn beautiful. You don't need all that shit. You're going to, yes, that's what you're going to. I had to tell her, don't. I said, I'm beating your daddy to it. I'm beating your daddy to it. I'm telling you now. It will not be no 20 inch bust downs. That's what they call them. Yeah. Bust down, so no 20 inch weave, 22, 24, 20 plus, no weave, period. But I'm just saying 20 because that's where they want to start. They want that long ass shit, you know, that it's obvious it ain't their hair. That's what they want. You know, I don't know what it is that we want stuff that you obviously can see it ain't real.
we are really like living like Mr. Potato Head. We have become like Mr. Potato Head in the flesh. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You put, you got, and then, okay, listen, because y'all always like to get on the bullshit. There are exceptions to the rule. Like, if I had a hook in my nose, I get a nose job too. You know what I'm saying? If something was going on disfigured or whatever, I get it. People get their teeth straight when they stacking up on top of each other, doing, you know, they're doing gang signs. You know, your teeth be told. People make adjustments and it makes sense. But we're not talking about the exceptions to the rule. Y'all walking around here like Mr. Potato Head and ain't shit wrong with you. You're just insecure and crazy as hell. So you're getting a new nose and you got a new forehead. You know, they, they, I bet you somebody got a fucking forehead lift. Now, here it is. I got a big forehead. Some might say a five head. You think I'm about to get a fucking lift on my forehead? Hell no. I like my forehead and I don't give a damn who don't. That ain't none of my business. Your problems with me is not my business, but I love me. And that's the type of energy I want these young ladies to receive. I want them to receive that type of energy in a mentorship fashion. So that's what I was thinking about. That's what I was thinking about. You know, it's a lot going on, but that's important. Because we can prevent some of the stuff, some of the stuff that we see going on that some of these women, and I'm not victim shaming. I'm not victim shaming, so please don't take it like that. But some of the shit, some of the atrocious shit that you see young women going through by the hands of men is because nobody told them the shit that they needed to know. Because if you keep running up, if, if every man you run into is jacked up, you're going to think all men are jacked up. Well, that's not the truth. It's the man you're running into. Now, you might say, I did nothing to deserve this, and I would agree. But however, the energy that you're radiating is drawing this type of shit in. Okay? So when you get to the point where you know who you are and you're self-sufficient, right? You know your life and this life. You, you get to know you and fall in love with you. Let's make it short. When you get to know you and fall in love with you, it's certain shit that's not even going to come in your universe. Okay? It's just not. It's no space for it. You don't radiate on the same shit. So if we told our young women enough that we were, we're supposed to implant in them by telling them what we've been through, what we've learned, what we know, right? And really painting the picture. This is why they used to have it where young women would have to take care of the baby, right? They had to take care of the baby. The baby would cry and shit. And they had to do all this stuff. With, because... When, 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 when they get to know and experience the shit, then they realize, t they get a fractal of what it is, what it's about. And then they realize, I don't want that. But a lot of us is walking in the shit because we don't know nothing. Nobody told us nothing. We ain't been through enough and yet. This is why your parents got to kind of teach you some things because you haven't been through nothing yet. The shit that you've been through gives you wisdom. It gives you tools for your toolbox. But these is kids. They don't know shit. So their parents got to be the one to guide them and tell them what's going on. <clears throat> but everything ain't on the parents, though. Too. I do want to say, as a parent, I want to say that it takes more than just the parents. So these mentorships, I know this motherfucking light ain't go out on me. Now that is ghetto. You know what? Fuck it. It is what it is. You're just going to have to listen anyway. I was rolling till I wasn't, baby. I knew I should have. I knew I should have charged this motherfucker. Though something told me charge that damn light, and I didn't. That's that's what I get for not listening to my intuition. I said it said charge the light, girl, and I said no. Nah, I got enough juice. Bullshit, I ain't got shit. Now nah, look, I'm in the dark, but I'm not just putting it all on the parents. They need a village. It takes a village for real. So while we sitting around, we talking about and we got so much shit to say, we need to be forming groups as the older people. We don't need to just talk about these young people. We need to help these young people by giving them the information. We ain't got to choke it down. We ain't got to present it to them like it's, it's a pamphlet from the Jehovah Witnesses and no shit like that. No disrespect, but you know what I'm saying? Real shit. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that translated into understanding, but maybe it didn't. 
We, we don't have to choke it down their throats. But we do need to offer it up because knowledge really is power. And, and when people have knowledge, they are empowered. But we can't just dictate to them. We got to be humble and come forth until where we have made mistakes and how we have learned. And, you know, people learn from just just like they learn from that TV box. That TV box is is telling them shit and putting shit in their head. When we tell them stories, when we tell them what we have been through, these children, we are giving them a visual of how that in some ways they will be able to assimilate themselves and put their feet in our shoes. Like they, they'll, they'll be able to kind of vicariously learn, right? But we got to come forth and start talking about this shit because, yes, I do believe we're headed to a better world despite what is being seen, okay? But it's, it's the everything, we're going to get there. But we still need to do the work and we still need to be talking to these kids and imparting in what we need to impart in them. And we got to let go of this whole, here go this damn dog of mine at the window. We got to let go of this whole aggressive, take the motherfucker by the head, snatch their head back and dictate them what they're going to do or put fear in them. We got to do all that. We just really have to be straight up and be real. We learn from the real people. Think about all the real people. You, you had your parents and you had whatever, but think about how you always listened to that one adult that was real than the motherfucker. You always got quiet and listened to what they had to say. We forgot the fact that we need to be real with these kids. We need to be straight up with these kids because that's what they need. They need somebody to come with them with the real. You, ain't, you don't need to come with the high horse. Ain't nobody going to hear you when you talking down to them. You just need to be real with these kids. Like, baby, I get it. I remember, baby, I remember when. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you about this story. I remember all of that. But I was just like you. And let me tell you and give them a good story with all the theatrics. And then when you get done and be like, but baby, because I used to be like you, I can tell you. I just told you a story where you could see I was just like you. But now I've learned from all of that. This is what I've learned. Now you have just empowered that young woman. You have just empowered that young woman when you did that. But you over there point, ain't nobody going to receive nothing from you. And you're talking down to them. I don't give a fuck who you think you are. Just because you think you're a parent or whatever authority you think you are, it don't mean you, you need to talk to people with love, period. I don't care where, where you at. Maturity and wisdom tells you to meet people with love. You ain't got to chastise everybody with your tongue. Who the fuck do you think you are? You can't govern yourself, motherfucker. You can't govern the next. Just go ahead, share your story, or, sh or shut the fuck up and keep it moving. The rest don't nobody need. And that's what people don't understand, bitch. We don't need all that. We're not here for that. Impart your story, share your wisdom from your story. Well, get the fuck on. You ain't got to say, I'm better than you and you stupid. And don't nobody hear. That's why this is why it's such a disconnect in the world because everybody wants to come from a level of superiority. They want to put themselves on the pedestal. Motherfuckers feel like they have to be in the forefront all the damn time. You do not just play your part, bitch. That's all you got to do. Nobody wants to play their part because because living from the heart, oh, that takes work. That takes effort. That takes humbleness. That takes being real. People want to do that. People want to stunt, be seen, and act like they're doing some shit. And then they want to be mad because the world around them is going to shit, bitch. It's radiating with what you're giving. The world, if you're scared every fucking day, if you feel the world that you live in, that's because the inside of you is fucked up. Because when you know the right, when you right in here, you know ain't nothing but goodness gonna come to you. You might hear from afar of the shits. Somebody might be with the shits around the corner. But because of who you are and what you radiate, it ain't coming around your way. Now, that's not to say in life we won't, fit, we won't um, face opposition and we won't face issues. That's not to say that. But... A lot of us don't understand that as above, so below, as within, so without. That says so much. So, I, you know, I didn't went in. I didn't ran off the plug about 15 motherfucking times. But I said what I said and I meant what I meant. And I meant it in love. I really did. 
But the thing is, is I will keep going, but we going over 30 minutes and the light then went out on my ass. Ain't that crazy? I started off all pretty with the light on, talking to y'all like I had sense. And then the light came off and I got crazy. But that's where we at today. Okay. I shade. All right. Sha na na. So I'm going to have to just, y'all let me know what you think. You know what I'm saying? Go and rewind it on back and let me know what you think about what I said. Because I'm really passionate in, in what I'm feeling. I got some other stuff I want to talk about, but I don't know. I ain't, yeah, I ain't about to do that right now. I ain't about to do that right now. So check out what I said. All right.